Hi, I'm Bobby Balicki from the National Electrical Manufacturers Association, better known as NEMA. Thanks to the U.S. Department of Energy, we are proud to present Bids for Grids, new media for the energy workforce. In partnership with George Mason University and NEMA members, we've developed a series of short educational videos introducing electrical equipment that's used in the smart grid, the electrical grid for the 21st century. This series is going to present a dozen of the most important products that are critical to a smart grid success. Our mission is simple, to make you more aware of smart grid technologies and help you consider a career in power engineering. This edition of Vids for Grids takes us to Tingsboro, Massachusetts, where we will visit Beacon Power, who manufactures flywheels, a vital part of the smart grid. Here we are in Tingsboro, Massachusetts, just outside of Boston, home of Beacon Power. Today we're going to learn about flywheels. Let's go take a look. Well, Beacon Power is in the business of making uh, high energy flywheels. Um, and, and what's unique about what we do is we store a lot of energy. Uh, flywheels have been used over the years for a variety of things, but what makes Beacon unique is we store more energy than any other flywheel system ever made. The key elements in flywheel are basically things associated with power, which is what you take in and out of the flywheel, that's what the grid uh, gives to us and what we give back to the grid, and energy, and the energy is contained in, in the rim, or the, the flywheel uh, cylinder that spins around. Uh, and that's really the key to how much energy you store is how big that cylinder is and most importantly how fast it goes. The flywheel itself um, runs at very high speeds. It ranges in the Gen 4 flywheel between 8,000 and 16,000 RPM. 16,000 RPM, the surface speed is like Mach 2, so there's no air in there, so it's sort of not very relevant, but nonetheless it's, it's operating at a very, very high speed. So we also have a vacuum system and we have lots of other systems that maintain the, its safety and, and ability to operate successfully over 20 years. Today, uh, Beacon Power is providing uh, frequency regulation services. Uh, as a merchant provider, we build the facilities with our own equipment, own the facilities, and sell the services directly to the various grid operators. Today in New York, we're selling those services to the New York ISO, which is essentially the grid operator for the state of New York. And they have a responsibility of meeting reliability requirements. And one of the things they, uh, they purchase in order to meet those reliability requirements is this balancing service called frequency regulation, which is nothing more than when there's an increase in load, they put more power onto the grid. When there's a decrease in load, they take some power off the grid. Normally that's done by increasing and decreasing the output of generators. What we're doing with energy storage is to, when there's too much power, we store it. When there's not enough, we bring it back. So we're sort of recycling the energy to get the same effect. However, it's much more effective than generators because it moves very fast. We can respond fully to the requested uh, change in power in four seconds. Generators are allowed five minutes to respond. I think one of the things that helps people get in their mind what we're doing uh, is to compare the flywheel system to a hybrid vehicle. Hybrid vehicle gets good mileage today because rather than taking the kinetic energy of the car going down the road, putting on the brakes and taking that energy and turning it into heat, what you do is you recycle it by recapturing the kinetic energy and turning it into power. Now in that case what they do is they feed it into a battery that's on the vehicle and then they reuse that energy later to accelerate the car. But it's the same basic components. The kinetic energy of the car would be kind of like the rim spinning around. But it has the same basic power electronics motor generator components that we have in our flywheel. In fact, we've even looked at if there's any way we could use the Prius components uh, as part of a flywheel design. They're that close. I'm here with Gene Hunt of Beacon Power, and he's here to discuss the production process here at the Tingsboro facility. Gene. Can you walk us through what happens in this facility? Sure. Uh, well, at Beacon Power, we're a company that designs, develops, and manufactures our flywheel systems. Uh, our components are manufactured to our own specifications by outside suppliers, and here they're integrated and tested before they are shipped out to the field. Okay, so what's the first step in this whole manufacturing process with the flywheel? Well, I would say the first step starts in the engineering area where things are designed and they're perfected there. Uh, from that point, the suppliers build the, the components to our specifications. Those could be uh, magnetic bearings, those could be motor generators, and of course the main component of the flywheel, which is the carbon fiber composite rim. 
Uh, those items then are shipped in here in volume, and uh, from that point we begin the process of uh, assembling them, testing them, uh, and making sure that they're ready to perform at their full spec. How much testing goes on in this facility? Uh, well, quite a bit of testing actually, because uh, once we have a flywheel system that's fully put together, that's been uh, vacuum sealed, we want to run it up to full speed for about a week to make sure that it's going to perform at that specification in the field, which, you know, in our case is a life expectancy of 20 years. So uh, running it for a week ahead of time gives us the assurance that it will last for 20 years. The smart grid is really where do we go next in uh, developing our electrical infrastructure and taking it to the next step. One of the smartest developments in the electrical industry is the use of renewable energy. That's really a way for our country to meet the demand we have for electricity, but do so in a way that is good for the environment. The issues though with wind and solar is that they don't run at a constant output. You're really dependent on when the wind is blowing, how fast it's blowing, and when the sun is shining, and you know, whether or not there's clouds that come over. So there's a lot of variation in the output of power from a wind and solar facility. The way flywheels can help with that, and why flywheels are so beneficial, is that they can manage those changes by storing that energy when there's a lot and returning it to the grid when a cloud comes over, the wind stops blowing. Beacon's flywheel is a smarter solution for how to manage the grid reliably. The old way of providing regulations, so we're planning to do regulation services, which is the second by second balancing of the grid. Uh, the old way of doing that was having a generator, usually a, a fossil fuel generator, move up and down. It's very inefficient, creates a lot of emissions. The smarter way to do that is to when there's too much uh, supply on the grid to store it, and when, there's, when you have more load increases to return it. Very efficient, clean, zero direct emissions. A much smarter approach, in addition to the fact that we can do it much faster and much more efficiently and cost effectively. We find that there's different kinds of students that like a smaller company. They like the environment where they can come in, they can work directly with uh, all the engineers, not just the next level of engineers, or all the finance folks, not just the next level. So we really, I don't think, compete with a lot of the larger companies. We get the kind of student that is interested in this kind of company. I think what most college grads could expect are great entry-level professional openings in electrical engineering, in mechanical engineering, systems engineering, uh, also in manufacturing engineering. Especially a lot of graduates now that are coming out that have done coursework, which didn't really exist just, just a few years ago, in any of the kind of emerging energy technologies. These kind of students will be even more attractive to a company like Beacon Power because they've got that additional coursework or internship at some other company or even at Beacon Power. So those are the kind of students we've been looking for and been fortunate to be able to hire. Today we learned about energy storage and how flywheels help provide stability for the smart grid. Flywheels provide stability by balancing energy usage and energy supply on a second-by-second -second basis. From Tingsboro, Massachusetts and Beacon Power, on behalf of NEMA, I'm Bobby Balicki. Action!